Hello everybody, today I have another game for you. This is Victor into Syndra. If you do hear a voice in the background, that is me for my stream. Link to my Twitch will be down below. I stream most days on Twitch and YouTube at around 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so this video is from, I believe, low to mid emerald. It is on a Smurf account. Um, I'm pretty sure it is at least. We will see when the game is over. Victor into Syndra is a bit of a it's a pretty, it's a skill-based matchup. I think it's Syndra favored for sure, though. Because it's it's very similar to any other control mage, honestly. Like, Orianna. A little less is Zira. Zira's range is a little longer, so it's a little more annoying against him. But those, like, kind of medium-ish range mages that Victor kind of struggles with. It's basically all about your spacing and baiting out abilities. For Orianna, it's baiting out her Q. For Syndra, it's trying to bait out her Q or stun. I do believe I go Lich Bane Rush in this game. After the buffs to um, Ludens and now just Seraphs, I have been going them a little more often. I have been going a mana item. I haven't been going Lich Bane a second every game. It's kind of situational. I think Victory Build is very, very variable at this moment. I tried Rod of Ages. It's not bad. I think it's okay in some situations, but for the most part, it's not great. Uh, I don't kill him here, no. Okay, Silas dies to Rek'Sai. I don't have the damage to kill there. If you took like one more tower shot, I do. Without that, I don't. But yeah, I think this game I rush Lich Bane. Um, but I, I I don't think that's the play, honestly, anymore. After the buff to like Ludens and Seraphs, again, this patch that just dropped, they got another five ability haste on top of the buffs they got before, which was the AP. So I they're starting to be okay. They're, they're not like amazing items, but they're starting to be okay. Syndra roaming bottom here, so I'm just going to hold this freeze. She gets a double kill, unfortunate. There's no chance I'm crashing early enough. Like, at this point in the game, there's no way I'm crashing at all. I don't have the damage or mana to crash all this. So I'm just going to sit here, last hit, pull the wave. Syndra gets two kills. We'll deny her some CS and XP. Even though she got the two kills, it looks like we should have an XP lead. Pretty nice one here. So yeah, there's the TP. TP back to middle. Unfortunate for our bot lane. Happens, though. But yeah, Victor... He's in a bit. He's in a rough spot. Like, he's not a great champion, but I think he's kind of playable. He's not great though, but I do think he's getting a little, getting closer to being playable. I thought he was borderline. Um, I thought he was literally unplayable at the start of the season, but I think he's starting to get to the point where it's not too bad. Is is not too bad, but yeah, I think Victor build is super, super, super situational. Now I think there's lots of things you can go. You can go Ludens or Seraphs most games. Rush if you don't need the Seraph shield, you go Ludens. If they're very short to medium range, you can go Lich Bane after that. Get extra ability haste. If you don't think you need it, you can just go like Zanya's Banshees. Or just skip it and just go like Shadow Flame or Deathcap. There's so many options. If you're not able to Q auto, if they're longer ranged, you can definitely look for something more AP focused. So your laser and your R is more of your focus than instead of your Q. Syndra missing again, probably walking up. I'm damn pinging now. There she is. She showed middle. Okay, we're fine. Again, I'm not going to crash. There's no reason to just shove waves pointlessly. My wave's in a great spot right now. Very close to my side. I'm very safe. I have pretty good vision here top side, so I'm just going to hug top. Grubs are spawning here very shortly. Okay, Syndra of level 4. I'm already a quarter into 5. So even though she roamed and got 2 kills, we're still up a lot of XP. We're probably not at very much gold. I have to see her CS. We're probably down gold, but we are definitely up XP. Okay, let this wave crash. I'm very close to hitting six. Okay, Rex, I just gets it. Never mind. My Silas doesn't care. That's fine. If your jungler isn't going to look for grubs, don't try and force it. Am I rushing? Okay, I was going to say, there's no way I rush Shadow Flame, right? That's crazy. I do rush Lich Bane here, though. Which I've stopped. I, I think I've, I've stopped doing this. I don't think this is the play anymore. I, I, maybe there's some situations where it's okay. You can like grab Lost Chapter or Tear into Lich Bane and then grab your mana item. But not having mana on victory is just so, so rough. So very rough. Ooh, there goes Cannon. That is that is quite unfortunate. So we are six here. We are fairly strong. Rek'Sai just tunneled bottom. We can look for a fight here. Laser's up in four. I should look for a fight. Oh, she had stun. Okay. That's fine. I walked forward though. Cued it. Looked for a little bit of a trade. Rek'Sai invading us, so I'm probably going to walk over. Yep, there she is. My team kind of walking over. I'm kind of trying to walk over to this. Bot lane is not collapsing. Rek'Sai tunnel might still be on cooldown, actually. Okay, we do get her. Nice. 
And then Sindra just chunks me. So Rex I tunnel very long cooldown early. She did just get like a mini rework. I'm not sure if it's good though. I really don't know. On the current patch that just the patch the patch literally just when I'm recording this, the patch literally just like dropped. So I haven't really seen a Rexai yet on this current patch, 14.4. So I don't know if she's gonna be great or not. I read the the changes. It looked interesting. Like it seemed like they deleted, like they reduced her early game, like how hard she stomps early game. They gave her percent eight damage on her E, like kind of increased her movement speed and her tunnel use. I'm not a big fan of this. I don't have R right now. Fear dies top solo. I don't have R right now. I'm kind of low mana. I'm not really, we're not really in a spot to fight that. Rek'Sai gets all the grubs and first Drake happens. But like I was saying earlier, if your jungler isn't doing grubs, like they don't even look like they're remotely posturing to grubs, don't just int and walk in by yourself. Just, you have to accept it and sack it. Especially as a victor, you're not very strong early. As usual. Your one-on-one -on -one in lane's pretty okay once you have mana, but... Even without mana, it's not too bad still. Like, look at the laser poke, it's really, really nice. With the alternator proc, it's extra nice without it it's still relevant okay we're very close to laser evolve we get it right here i imagine if i don't grief the cs yeah there we go that's laser evolve i should crash one more yeah since i have laser evolve i should stay i'm seven i have laser evolve i one shot casters laser this crash into reset nice good job and reset perfect have to fight next grubs Okay, I'm typing to my team, even though this is low mid emerald, I will try and communicate with them. I think that, yeah, I was going to say, the Sheen isn't like, it's not bad, but it's not great. I, I would prefer like the Aether was pure because I can get boots with it, which is really nice. I think that was the correct buy. Because the, the movement speed early into someone like Syndra is always really great. Being able to sidestep that, that extra little bit, being able to sidestep a stun is always lovely. Because if you can sidestep stun, you can really look for, like, a kill on her. Syndra's here. She just walks in. Okay, she's dead. Yeah. She is dead. There's no way out. Hopefully, Karma gives it to me. Nice. Ooh. Okay, cool. Grubs are, I believe, coming up shortly. Yep, 25 seconds on Grubs. There's Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai R's? If Silas walks out. No, so I was here. I have to. I did not need. Eh. Sil Rek'Sai was walking up. I don't, I don't. I didn't need to flash that. I would have lost a lot of HP. So the flash there is just con to conserve HP so I can actually fight this fight. Okay, nice. We got this Rek'Sai. Zyra flashes. I don't think I kill her. Unless tick. Nice. Actually, a second laser tick hits her. Did I just fl Oh, no, no. I'm griefing. I'm griefing. My, my, my recording just... Okay, that was fine. My recording lagged and it looked like... No, it's fine. Okay. We're close to Q evolve here. Um, so yeah, flashing, like flashing there from the Zyra, the Rek'Sai was pathing up. So I'd just be basically flashing the Zyra chunk. She would have chunked me to like probably below half, like probably 40%. So flashing there just kind of conserves my HP for this fight. Okay. I'm dead. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. There's Syndra R. I was kind of trying to help with grubs, but I was in too awkward of a spot. Did we get one grub so far? Is that two? That's one grub. Then Fiora is here. He's flashing in. Rek'Sai gets away. This is looking very sketchy now. I was in too awkward of a spot there to try and help with the grubs. I think that was a one grub situation and then you walk away. I think after the one grub, I just go middle. I tried to help with the, the Silas a little too much. We have full Lich Bane though. And Q Evolve. So very, very early Evolves. We're 3-1-1. One, and one. Okay, laser here. She gets a plate. Can't really do anything about that. But we have R and Q evolve now. Nice. Good trade. Yeah, if you get that empowered auto off with, with Lich Bane early, it's crazy strong. I'm going to try and get rid of tunnels. Okay, yeah, Rex is doing it. Fiora's there. Fiora has Pryo. Fiora can walk down. Syndra is chunked. There she is. Okay, she's not super chunked anymore. After her health pot ticking. And Silas misses. Okay. Unfortunate. I would have liked to contest Grubs there. My Silas was close enough. My Fiora did have Prow. Neither of them. The Silas kind of walked over. The Fiora didn't. 
Fiora definitely could have walked over, but I mean, eh, if you, that's your teammates. If you're not going to, then so be it. At least I didn't die this time. Syndra does have kill potential on me here. I gotta watch out. I'm pretty low. Karma is hovering, though. Could look for the kill here if Syndra walks up too far. If Fiora dies again. Okay, I'm probably gonna want to crash this and reset. Do I go Merc Treads this game? I think Merc Treads, eh. They have double AP. It's not bad. Let's think. Syndra, they have a lot of CC, actually. I think it's okay. I think it's fine. Early Merc Treads isn't bad here. The only problem with it is that your damage is already kind of yikes. Am I really going to go? No shot, I TP. No shot. Okay, good. Yeah, no shot. I TP top there trying to go for Riven. That would have been kind of crazy. I TP middle catch wave. Ooh, what was that laser? I think uh, I think my hand spazzed or something. Okay, my team's fighting bottom. But yeah, into a champ like the Syndra. Yeah, they have Zyra as well. They have Center Root. They have lots of CC. Double AP champs and then lots of... CC, so I think the Merc Treads is actually reasonable. But like I was saying, the damage, your damage is already kind of yikes, so getting Merc Treads or denying yourself Sorks is already not the best spot. I don't think Merc Treads is like an every game thing. I think it's super situational. Okay, they're going in. I have R, though. I'm trying to be patient with my R here. No, this isn't a situation. Okay, Zyra wastes R. They're doing Dragon. I think this is Silas is low. This is probably not fightable. I'm trying to poke, though. I'm getting really good poke on Senna here. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. Okay, Silas just dies at because he has one HP. I think I maybe baited the Silas there. I'm trying to look for poke to see if it seems okay because the rest of my three people were pretty healthy. Um, but then Silas just inted. I don't even know if I baited him honestly. Like he's just he was low. There was no reason for him to stay ever. I'm typing. Okay, good. Don't type. This game is over. Says the Fiora. Go next. I'm not playing this. She out. Okay, Fiora tilted, Silas probably tilted. This game's looking rough. Definitely winnable, though. Okay, now what do I look for a second? The question is, do I go Zanya second? Okay, there's the middle. There we go, finally. I should have done that earlier, honestly. Uh, do I go Zanya second is the question here. I, Zanya's is great into, into Syndra. You can always wait to see her first R ball fly at you, and then Zanya's it. It goes on full cooldown. It does very little damage to you. Once her R is traveling towards you, it goes on cooldown, even if you become untargetable or whatever then. I have R here. This is looking pretty good. Rek'Sai, nice. Good W, really good W. Should be two, maybe three. Q off. Yeah, she's dead. Nice, good job. Okay, the enemy team griefs. We get full evolve now. If your teammates are tilted, oh well. Can't control it. Just do your best. Okay, we got a bunch of gold there. Fiora takes top tower. Our Fiora's mega tilted. He's probably just going to perma side lane this entire game. I doubt he's going to really help us with fights. He said he's done. He's probably not playing anymore. So we just got to treat him like he's a super minion. Wave always down. Um, I think I could have went for tower here. I have Lich Bane. We see two top. But bot lane, it's fair to assume bot lane's heading here. Maybe Rek'Sai. I decided to reset and try and help top lane though. I think I should have taken mid tower. I think taking mid tower is better here. I think I look for mid tower. I have Lich Bane, I can take it quicker, and then I reset and walk up to defend Inner Tower up here. Like, yeah, my team, even, do I even help with this Riven? Yeah, I get here and, like, the fight's over. I think taking mid tower is the better play. I think, I think in my mind here, I was worried that my team was just going to get demolished and they were going to keep pushing. Okay, so I, I, I don't have R for 23 here. He flashes and does an R. Hmm, interesting. Okay, Harold is up. Silas might do it, I don't know. I'm just going to go push sideline, though. I think this is the right play. I have no clue if the Silas is actually going to do an objective, so I don't really want to bait myself to like start it with him. Even though I do have R and it's a pretty free Herald. Look, yeah, he's not even doing it. He's going to invade and do whatever he wants. This is a free, absolutely free Herald, but he doesn't seem to be wanting to do it. So I prioritize the wave over the Herald here since he's not even looking for it. Okay, we're going for the fight here. Silas dies. Typical. Biggest thing is try not to let your team not let yourself get baited by your teammates. That's like the biggest thing. It's a very, very difficult lesson to learn because League oh, what is this Harold doing? Bro's actually coming for me. Uh it's a very, very difficult thing. We know Sal or Rex doesn't have flash. I can R this. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. I have no clue what he's doing. Dead. Uh, am I really gonna do Harold here? No shot. No shot we do Harold. Riven can collapse on us. This is so bad. 
We should walk up and look for the Riven here. This is bad. Riven and Zyra should be contesting us here. Are we just trying to bait them? Okay, maybe we're just trying to bait them over. If that's the actual intent, that's fine. If we're trying to force a fight here, that's fine while they're down the Rek'Sai. Silas does actually walk over here. Okay, is Zyra nice? We sidestep the root. The powered auto, she hits a plant. She should be dead here. No, okay. I lost vision, couldn't get my Q off. And it's not worth my flash. Flashing for her is not worth there at all. My flash is way too valuable right now. I'm the strongest member on this team. I'm the most important member on this team right now. I need to just survive and just deal as much damage as I can. I'm spacing really far back here because we don't have vision in that bush. Okay, I Q the Syndra stun so it doesn't do too much damage. My R isn't up here. Silas is still sitting on Herald. Rek'Sai is back because we took so long. And now we're just in a sketchy fight. Fiora is just splitting bottom because she's tilted. Rek'Sai might look for a steal here. Let's see. This is just 50-50. They're really low, though. And Syndra dies to my laser kick. Okay, Ezreal gets the last hit on it, and Rek'Sai doesn't steal. And now Silas... Okay, cool. They just throw really hard. But see how we're sitting so far back? We're really, really being mindful of like a Rek'Sai flank slash a Syndra stun into whatever follow-up. You gotta be like thinking of the threat range of everybody on the enemy team. I'm gonna grab full Zonyas here. I think that's fine. I should probably look for like Death Cap next. We'll see if if they don't have a crazy amount of MR, probably Crypt Bloom. And the way I've been thinking about Crypt Bloom lately is like, so the item is thirty percent pen, right? If most people are gonna have at least like fifty MR by the time you're getting it, like third or maybe second, third, fourth, whatever. So it's basically like fifteen flat pen. Essentially, is what it is. If that item said that, would I be building it? If the item said 15 flat pen and more, potentially, if they have more MR. I'm going to TP over to this. This is fine, yeah. I think TP... Uh, one for one so far. But yeah, so if, if the item said it was 15 flat pen, 15 ability haste, I think, what, 90 AP? Would I be building the item? And the answer is, and on top of the heal. There's the heal on top of that. Would I be building the item? Probably. My Zonya's nothing here. That was a bad Zonya's. Didn't really do it for any... Yeah, my Zonya's was nothing. I can flash for this. I think this is okay. Getting the blue buff from Syndra, I think, is okay. This turns into Dragon, which is why I think it's okay. Like, what, would we get Dragon if I don't flash on Syndra? Oh, there's Ira. I have Mark Dread still. Yeah, I should be okay with Karma Shields. Nice, there it is. Oop, I picked the wrong way. I have Q, though. We're good. Nice, now that that's Dragon. Eh, maybe I should reset, actually. No, we do it really slow. Silas is walking over. I should reset, and then we can do Dragon. Syndra, Zyra are still dead, though. The Mark Treads are having such high value this game. Super, super high value this game with that double AP and the amount of CC. The Rex is just not pressing R, but I mean, it is low mid Emerald, so I mean, these players aren't the brightest. No flame, though. You just gotta capitalize on enemy mistakes. Because I'm assuming most of you guys are like probably like di low diamond below, I would imagine. So just you gotta like sit there and capitalize on the enemy being greedy or whatever. Or doing dumb fights, but if there's only if there's a purpose for it, or if you can win it for sure, like if your team's just randomly fighting in their red side jungle for nothing, while no objectives up for anything, like you can just side lane and sit there wait for the, something irrelevant to happen so you can TP. Because like think about it, if your entire team dies in a pointless fight like that, like what does the enemy team get? If there's no Baron up, there's no Dragon up, they would just be sieging anyway. So if I push the lane, they don't have minions to siege. Uh, Riven probably gets stopped tower here. I decided to stay for the fight and then reset for it, which I think is fine. I maybe could have reset a little, a little earlier, but yeah, you gotta think of if there's relevance. Like, if your whole team dies and there's no Baron up, like, they don't really get much. They just get gold and a bit of XP. I have R up. I should be able to fight Riven. I don't know why I'm playing a little scared, so scared. She is 14, so she is ahead in, exp ahead in, ahead in XP right now, but I do have Zonya's up in a couple seconds. This should be fine. We should fight this. Uh, Rek'Sai just bo poofed away, okay. My Zonya's was up, so I guess I was maybe waiting for Zonya's. Because if she does go on me before Zonya's, I'm in a bit of an awkward spot. Can we catch anybody? It doesn't look like it. Okay, Fiora just continuing to split. I don't have Flash right now, so I do have to watch out. I'm a little worried about the weird Rek'Sai tunnel angle. Okay, Ezreal stops back, that's nice. Getting close to my second needless. But yeah, think about what the point of a fight is. Like, if nothing bad is really going to happen, 
Like they're not going to get two towers or something because of you guys losing the fight or a Baron or a soul point or something. It's fine. Just go side lane, get your XP, get your gold up. XP is obscenely relevant. And like XP is crazy strong in League of Legends. Okay. I should be able to catch her here. Our Fiora does. Okay. That's fine too. Yeah, this Fiora is like not even playing the game and we're basically 4v5ing it and just playing kind of reason. We're treating the Fiora as like a super minion right now. At least he's not AFK. There's that. Even if he mental boomed and he's just going to perma side lane to the point of trolling, at least he's not AFK. At least he's like us. It's basically like having a super minion wave in that lane is what is what it's like. Uh, Silas could have eat there. With the pressure Fiora is give, uh, getting right now. Okay, and direct side. Oh, he lives. Oh, but he's close. He does live. Just the, just by a hair. We should be looking for Baron here. Take the blue look for Harold. Pull it away so Syndra's going to W this. We don't want to let Syndra take this. Syndra's going to W steal it when it's low. There's Syndra. I have Zonya's if she R's me. I'm not really too scared. Yep, she's looking totally. Oh, there's Zonya's. Perfect. That's exactly how you want to do it. I'm probably dead, though. I griefed it. I greeted it for the blue buff. Um, but that's exactly mechanically how you want to do it. That was really greedy looping back around. We took so long there. The moment Syndra's sitting there, if we can't zone her off, we just back off. Mechanically, though, that's what you want to do. Brain-wise, that is not what you want to do. We stalled for a long time there. Like, once the Fiora doesn't have pressure, doing stuff like that is bad. If the Fiora did still have pressure and was alive, then I think doing stuff like that's okay. But with the Fiora dead, I don't think it's okay. And I gave my massive shutdown away. Who got it? Uh, was it Zyra or... Yeah, Zyra got my 700 gold or 1,000 gold shutdown. Okay, after Death Cap, I think Cryptloom is for sure the purchase. Okay, I'm going to look to TP flank here. I don't have R yet. It's not too bad, though. I can just play it slow. Okay, nice. Good dodge on that. Loop all the way around. Cut them off. Good. This is good. This is good. This is actually nice. That was actually really nice. Okay. Even though I didn't have R. Enemy team overstayed immediately after. Laser, don't waste R. Good. That should be Baron. Four of them are dead. Rexai is the only one alive. Our Silas is absolutely one shot, so we could just face check into Silas Rexai at any moment. And Fiora has pressure now. Our Ezreal is pretty low too, but we do have Karma shields, and Ezreal will heal slowly. Okay, Rexai is now dead. Fiora does kill. Cool. Even if Fiora didn't kill there, I think it's fine. I am tanking Baron, which I think is also okay. Yeah, uh, that fight was essentially going on for like, what, two minutes? Because I overstayed by the blue buff and then they overstayed middle. After I respawned from dying, like, that was just such a long fight. Okay, I have death cap and base here. Um, I think crashing one more wave is fine. Grab death cap, grab amp tome. They're already getting a good chunk of MR here. So yeah, for sure void or crypt bloom next. Yeah, void's 10% extra pen on top of that and you're sacking the ability haste for AP basically I think Cripploom for sure is the play am I really going to go void I should be going Cripploom here okay I was just clicking on blooding jewel okay that's fine uh, but again even though I gave my shutdown away I still have a shutdown by the way because we're obscenely strong we just got another one back pretty quick so you always got to be mindful of throwing shutdowns away. Giving a shutdown away is like actually like how you throw games. When you're super strong and even one one bad death can throw a game for sure. This is just coin flip right now. Our Fiora's dead. We kind of got to look for the fight. Okay, she's dead too. W Zanya's because I was going to get knocked up by Zyra ult, which is fine. Good, nice. And Riven's going in hot. Doesn't matter. She's dead. Um, I, We can't end here. But this should be inhib. They do have uh, Syndra wave clear, but we do have Baron still. So it should be fine. There should be two towers on an inhib here. Okay, nice. We'll try and get to see if there's a sneaky boy over the wall. No sneaky boy was over that wall. We should back off here. This is, we shouldn't stay. Don't, good, good, good. Danger ping, good. Don't stay. Don't be greedy. Go take their jungle camps now is the correct play. Deny them as much gold as possible. Don't let Rek'Sai be able to farm any camps. Take everything. Focus the wave first here. 
and then go for the jungle camp. So then while they're dealing with the wave, you can take the camp. Mm. Okay, I'm not even gonna... Uh, Grump is... Oh, Grump is even up. We already checked, okay. Fiora looks like she's gonna do Scuttle. I should place my control ward somewhere. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say. It's not a great spot, but I should place my control ward somewhere because I'm about to buy. Blighting, Amp Tome. Yep, that's fine. Um, would the Fiendish Codex be better here? I think the Fiendish Codex would be better here. Because Blighting Jewel is, what, 13% pen? Like, that doesn't really amount to much. It's not great. It's hardly anything. The actual CDR is relevant, though, from Fiendish Codex. Yeah, full Banshees from the Syndra. Hex Shrinker from the Wreck. Okay, Fiora solo kills. Cool. Is this, this should just be game. I have Flash here. Be a little patient with it, though. Nice, good R. Oh, God, they're gone. Deleted. Oh, my God. Okay, that's game GG. Um, oh, there's the Flash, finally. I don't get him, though. Sad. Why did I Zonyas? For the memes? Oh, do we get him? Silas goes in hot. Ezreal kills. Beautiful. Um, but they threw pretty hard, even though our Fjord was tilted. You really just have to capitalize on those kinds of things. When people are, like, tilted, if they're not AFKing on your team, you can definitely play with it, like that Fiora. But if the enemy team is going to grief, nice damage. If the enemy team is going to grief like that, you definitely have to capitalize on it. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you did enjoy it, like, subscribe, share with anyone you think you care. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you next time.